I have been learning so much along with my students that uh, I have changed my own, you know, lifestyle and practices just based on these projects. Um, still working on the husband. <laughs> Once you open up the binder for Need Indeed, it the kids do the work. It's really me just guiding these wonderful class talks and then research. But it's just me guiding. Like, it's their ideas. It's their topics. I wasn't really interested in pollution, but it's not about me. Usually the role of students is really to soak in information and then synthesize it and apply it. And this is a much, it's a, it's a different framework on reading their world. When it's really student-driven and, and it's about inquiry and it's about problem-solving, then that's a whole nother set of skills and a whole nother part of the child's development that you're tapping into. What it also does is, when they are the kids that want to talk about domestic violence, you have to be comfortable enough to let them do that. The framework starts out with building community so that students feel that they're in a safe environment to share opinions and feelings about certain social issues. So when we started out on the framework, we actually discovered that just that first segment of building community was really what we needed. Uh, and so we just went in deeper with that because when I spoke to my Need Indeed staffers about it, they said that's perfectly fine. The framework is here to support you, not to put you into a little cubby hole and say this is how it must be done. I can't teach them what they learned from Need Indeed. Investigating the vocabulary, yeah, you can do that in a very boring way, but with Need Indeed, you kind of discover language and you investigate things that maybe your parents or teachers don't want you really investigating, and then you turn that into something positive. I would argue that at the middle school level, student social and emotional development supersedes intellectual development. And I, I just feel like at, at the middle school level, students are, are really just figuring out who they are and that's their main job in 6th, 7th, 8th grade is to not lose their minds and uh, figure out who they are.